In the meanwhile, we also have to improve our minds by the laborious exercise of refuting the latest foolishness contrived by the faithful. They unwisely say that evolutionary biology is only a theory, which betrays their ignorance of the meaning of the word theory as well as of the meaning of the word design. A theory is something evolved, if you forgive the expression, to fit the known facts. It is a successful theory if it survives the introduction of hitherto unknown facts, and it becomes an accepted theory if it can make accurate predictions about things or events that have not yet been discovered or have not yet occurred. This can take time and is also subject to a version of Occam's procedure. Pharaonic astronomers in Egypt could predict eclipses, even though they believed the Earth to be flat. It just took them a great deal more unnecessary work. Einstein's prediction of the precise angular deflection of starlight due to gravity, verified during an eclipse off the west coast of Africa that occurred in 1913, was more elegant and was held to vindicate his theory of relativity. When the bones of prehistoric animals began to be discovered and scrutinized in the 19th century, there were those who said that the fossils had been placed in the rock by God in order to test our faith. This cannot be disproved. Nor can my own pet theory that, from the patterns of behavior that are observable, we may infer a design that makes planet Earth, all unknown to us, a prison colony and lunatic asylum that is employed as a dumping ground by far-off and superior civilizations. However, I was educated by Sir Karl Popper to believe that a theory that is unfalsifiable is to that extent a weak one. 